Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to continue the DB installation procedures by understanding more about the wire termination and dressing. So let's first begin with definition of the DB wire termination. It could be defined as the process of connecting the end side of the wire to the protecting device, which is the circuit breaker or circuit breakers of the distribution board. It is also to provide the required electrical connection as well as the mechanical support and physical protection of the cable. The physical and electrical connection of a cable end that connects to another cable or to the terminal of the equipment. So we can conclude that termination means connecting the end side of the wire to the protecting device, which is the circuit breaker inside a distribution board. Also, the word termination could also be called for electrical connection between two wires or by connecting the end side to the load like appliances or other devices. And now let's look into what is meant by dressing or when we say a wire dressing. It is the method of ensuring that electrical cables and wires are neatly arranged inside the distribution board enclosure. In order to do the dressing in a proper way, cable ties, cable channels, and cable lacing cord are used to adequately perform the dressing of wires and cables. So as we can see over here in this picture, we can see that the wires are neatly arranged inside the enclosure and also they are neatly terminated inside the circuit breakers of this DB. So what are the needed components to perform the termination and the dressing of a distribution board? First component is the cable tie, which is used inside the distribution board to hold the wires together. The adhesive cable tie holder also is used which is over here, and it holds the cable ties to provide the required support. Cable lugs are also used for the termination of wires. Actually, the cable lugs are installed at the end side of the wire to be inserted inside the circuit breaker. And as we can see over here, there are different and several types of lugs so according to the terminal of the circuit breaker, you will select the most suitable lug for your case. Also, a wire stripper is used to perform that termination. And actually, we use the wire stripper or the wire stripper tool to remove the insulation from the conductor. And it looks similar to this tool over here. Also, the wire crimping tool, which is exactly what is over here, is used to make the crimping of the lugs and it is actually used to tighten the lugs within the wire. And finally, we use here PVC cable marking ferrule, which is what you see over here. It is used to indicate the circuit number of the wire, which is the process of maintenance of the distribution board in the future, as we will see shortly. Now let's look into the installation procedures of wire termination and dressing. So the first step to terminate wires with the circuit breakers is to start cutting the long pieces of wires to suit the length to reach circuit breakers terminals. So as you can see over here, the wires are cut to a specific length to exactly meet the required length in order to enter the terminal of the circuit breaker. Step two is to strip the wires to remove the insulation from the end side of the wire. And as I explained earlier, we have this wire stripper, which is used to remove the insulation of the wire. And it is recommended to remove 1.5 inch or around four centimeters of this insulation. Step three is to arrange the neutral wires and the earth wires on both sides of the distribution board according to that terminal. So for example, if this terminals over here are going to be used 
for the earthing wires. So we have to bring the earthing wires on this side and the neutral wires on the other bus bar over here or the terminals for the neutral bar. Step four is to insert the marking ferrule inside the wire. And you need to ensure the circuit number matches the exact number that is mentioned in the DB schedule. So this is the wire and you are going to use this marking ferrule and insert it inside the wire. Let's say, for example, this wire is protecting circuit number R1. So you will select a ferrule with the R letter and the number one. Step five is to insert the suitable type of lug at the end side of the wire. So this is how the lugs looks like. So you will just insert the lug at the end side of the wire. Step six is to crimp the lugs properly using the crimping tool. And I have shown you before in the previous slides how crimping tool looks like. So it is just a tool used to crimp the lug within the wire over here. Step seven is to insert the inside of the lug inside the circuit breakers terminal and tighten the screw adequately. And this is exactly what is meant by the termination, is to insert all the wires to the assigned circuit breakers according to the DB schedule. And step eight is to ensure wires are looking well arranged and are tightened properly inside the distribution board enclosure before fixing or installing the outer door frame. So as you can see how the wires are neatly arranged, you can see over here, this yellow and green wire, which represents the earthing wire. They are all terminated at the earthing terminal over here and the neutral are terminated at the other side. And as you can see, different colors here, four circuit breakers going to different circuit numbers or protecting different circuit numbers. And of course, this is the incomer. We can also terminate the incomer either from the upper side or even we can make an opening here at the bottom side of the DB enclosure and insert the incomer from the bottom side, which is more suitable to be inserted from the bottom side of the DB enclosure. And finally, let's look at the main check items that you need to ensure about when you install a distribution board. First of all, we need to ensure wires are tightening very well inside the circuit breaker. This is a very critical point. You need to ensure that the wires are well terminated inside and are well tightened. And if you pull, for example, this wire at any time, it must not be removed at all from the circuit breaker. It must be tightened very well. You need to ensure to use the marker ferrule for easing the future maintenance, as explained earlier. You need also to ensure to stick a hard copy of the DB schedule on the distribution board's door. It is always recommended to use a DB schedule and to also keep the DB schedule at the door of the distribution board to ease the process also of maintenance to the technicians. You need also to ensure to use adequate number of cable ties to hold the wires together and give it an aesthetic look. As you can see over here, we can use the cable ties to well support the wires inside the enclosure. Also, you need to ensure that wires are tested before termination. And when we say tested, we mean that insulation or measuring test and continuity test are done for these wires. You need to ensure about this point. You need to make sure that all wires insulation is not damaged due to pulling of these wires. So you need to ensure that these wires are ready to be terminated by performing these two tests, the insulation and the continuity test. And finally, you need to ensure that a professional technician is performing the DB termination of wires and cables. Of course, such kind of activity must be done by professional technicians. I am only showing here the ways or the installation procedures for a distribution board. 
but the person who is assigned to perform such an activity or such a task he must be professional and he must be having the knowledge of termination of wires so i hope that this video was informative and you had an idea about the termination and dressing of distribution boards wires